Sadly, Nellie's anxiety traveling in any car is so severe, it's impossible for them to go away as a family. Nellie's proper panting today. The car travel is by far the biggest issue. As a family, we like to go camping as much as we can. When your dog doesn't want to be in the car, that changes everything. Come on, Nellie. She'll start shaking, she'll pant, can't calm her down. She's in a state. Hey, hello. Hi. Oh, well, it's hello. so nice hello. to meet you. So nice to meet you. Okay. Thanks so much for coming. Well, you're welcome. And um, wow, she's beautiful. Why did you bring me here? Travel issue. It's the, it's the issue in the car with Nelly. We've got two cars. We've got our, our daily, so to speak, and we've got a hot rod car. I've been training uh -huh. with Nelly. I've tried everything that I possibly can. We just can't take her anywhere with us in the car. In the, in both cars. in both cars. Yeah. 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 Short trip in the Monday. We can get to the dog parks around here, but in the hot rod, she doesn't want to know. Mm. With observations over, it's time for Victoria to give her verdict on poor Nellie's anxieties. I think the headline here is that she does not feel safe right. in the car. Sound sensitive dogs sometimes don't do well in cars. What do you think the hot rod sounds like? What, what, is, what does it sound like to you? I think it sounds good. It's obviously loud, but it's, it's a nice loud. With her sensitive hearing, that's almost like you put some drums right by your ear and go bang, 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 yeah. bang. A dog can hear up to around 45,000 hertz, which is very, very high. They also have ears like satellite dishes. They have 20 plus muscles in their ears, so they can move their ears around to gather sound. And that's what she's doing. With a sight hound as well, you haven't just got the sound of this, which is just this cacophony that does not stop. You also have that like visual stimulation of just things going past really fast. Third thing, the instability. I think the reason why she can't settle is because her body is uncomfortable. The other car less so. Yeah. It's not as loud. But I don't think that you can even go close to that hot rod yet. Mm. I think we need to work with her in the other car yeah. to get her used to that. Totally agree. Uh, totally agree. Totally. Okay. It's time to help Nellie begin to conquer her fear of driving, starting with their less noisy car before they can build up to the hot rod. And Victoria has made some adjustments which should hopefully make her feel more settled. So. Here we are by the car. Right. Now, I really like the way that you'd put the shade on, and I've done the same on the other side, but it just mutes that sight for her, okay? That visual stimulation yeah. that I think is contributing to the anxiety. Now, I'm gonna open this, okay. and inside, you're going to see the bed. Underneath the bed, there's quite a solid foundation so that she feels a bit more balanced. Okay. So. Do you want to try it? Yes, we do. OK. <laughs> Giving Nellie a big, sturdy bed will hopefully make her feel safer in the car. Time to see what she thinks. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Nice. Good. That's nice and poofy, isn't it? Good girl. Mind your little face. Good girl. Pretty comfortable in there. A little shaky. But um, I'm going to go around and sit next to her whilst you drive. We're only going to go about five minutes. OK. And we don't go above 30 miles Excellent. an hour. Excellent. Let's right? do it. Hi, little one. There you go. Oh, I wanted to have a little bit more. There. So the lead is quite loose. Okay. The is quite loose. It's still going to protect her if something happens. Right, OK. But it's a bit looser. Brilliant. And already, she's not straining against it. OK, that's good. Very clever girl. Almost sort of just doing that. Okay. She's less shaky with it. She right. can move around a bit more. So that tension has inadvertently caused yes, more Yes, I think stress. so. I really think so, because she was pulling against it. I let it out a little bit. It's a bit like night and day, I have to say. Oh, very good girl. And I'm keeping it nice and light, keeping my voice nice and light. Right. I tell you what, what's good about this bed is her back legs are moving really well. Are they? Yep. And remember, I've made the, um, the floor of the bed really quite sturdy. Brilliant. 
And again, that longer lead, that seatbelt lead, is, is lengthened. Excellent. I'm telling you, her body completely changed when wow. I did that. That's incredible. Yeah. One, one uh, little tweak. I want you to tell a good girl. What a good girl. Oh, yeah. You're a good girl. That was fun, wasn't yeah. it? Miss Nelly, you did pretty well. So proud of you. So how did you feel with that? She still wasn't brilliantly happy, happy in the car, but so much better. That was, what, five minutes? Yeah. And that's like a whole leap ahead improvement already. So genius. Twice a day, know. maybe five minutes at a time. Yeah. Mike drives, you sit in the back. Yeah. And then when you feel like she's more comfortable, then you can increase it. Maybe. Oh, thank you so much. You're That's very lovely. welcome. All right, let's much take her back in. Much appreciated. Good girl. Come on, Nelly, you did very well. What Here, we'll go this girl. way. There's a good dog. Practicing short trips every day will build up Nelly's confidence in the car over time. And when she's happier on the back seat, camping trips will be back on the cards. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.